are the seven congregations, or the seven called out ones. So again, he's, he's pointing out, again, these things that are about to now be told to us, how he's going to address each of these group of called out ones. So as we end our time for the day, remember this, that again, just as Michael the archangel spoke to Daniel about that which was to come and mirroring some of the things that John saw, John coincidentally, not a coincidence, had the personal angel of Jesus communicate to him the things that are about to come, and he saw Jesus in a very more pronounced way. Then he tells John there's going to be seven unique angels overseeing these seven different congregations, which were real back in that time in those physical areas. But now in today's age, they are not located by demographic anymore. They describe the spiritual state of these seven different spiritual states of people that have been subjected to understand the mysteries and kingdom things. So the mystery and secrets of the kingdom things have been now disclosed to seven different groups of peoples that were at the time demographically, geographically in Asia, but since time and space and everything has transpired, the leaven took its foothold, you had that gel to a place where now, that's why he says in verse 19, write the things that, that you see, the things that are, and the things that will be, right? He's talking about the things that are, the things that you see are the, are the demographic, geographic seven congregations in Asia. That is a real deal thing. The things which are, which I'm showing you, is that no longer is it geographic anymore. It's now gone into a spiritual state. There's a spiritual state of being that are, there's seven different spiritual states of being people could have as groups of called out matured ones given who, where they are in their understanding of mysteries and secrets. Oh, and by the way, think about the things that will be how they work together, what's gonna, what, how it's going to fall out. You know, and out of, those, out of those spiritual states, four of those spiritual states, Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, and Thyatira, will exist from this point through the time which I come again, he's talking about. And the last three spiritual states, which are typified by Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea, don't come into existence until the actual millennial reign of Christ. And the Philadelphia church represents, they call that one to represent those who are the betrothed bride, the faithful ones. The Sardis ones represent those who are just the mature ones looking to add on the extra hundred fruit they need. And the Laodicean ones are those who are the, the bad and the poor who are given garments because they don't deserve to be there, but they're like guests at the wedding feast, as he talked about in Matthew 22. They're given access. They don't deserve. They don't, which is why it's always amazing. The overcomer's promise to them is to sit in his throne, which is amazing that he, he just gives lots of latitude because when he wants to. Give people second, third chances, it looks like. It's, some, 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 it's, unreal. it's unreal. God's just so gracious and kind like that. So with that being said, I just want to close at that, and then we'll start on Friday with continuing to delve into the actual letters of the individual congregations, the individual called out groups. But hopefully this has been helpful to remind us and to continue to see how the revelation is different to be understood and how it should be understood and why it should be understood by us differently and what it means for us and what's at stake. So let's close and pray, and we'll, we'll end our study for today. Thank you, Father, for this time we've had. Thank you for the opportunity that you show us your, your love, your grace, your support, and all that you always continue to help us with, help us to be sustained as we come back together again. And just thank you, Father, for all you do. And just keep us um, safe and, and growing in our spirit, and always looking for understanding of how we should have it change our lives. In Jesus' Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. You okay, Vic?